Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. This is a bonus part, we beat the game, so now I have to show off all the bonus stuff. And yes, because my lack of friends is so great, for the two-player mode, instead of actually showing it off, I'll show you what happens when you don't press start for a while and it just shows you playing the game. So this is two-player mode, there's um, basically you can either choose the speed segments, the, the, um, the treasure segments, or the mech segments, and you, it's just basically two-player competition. Um, where you have to just either race to the finish or race to get the pieces of the Chaos Emerald or try to kill each other, whatever, <laughs> depending on what mode you're on. Um, the, the gimmick with this is not only can you kill each other, but after one person actually has gotten enough rings, like usually 10, 20, 40, or 60, they can actually use a power like, you know, either stopping people with Chaos Control or using Chaos Spear, or Sonic Wind, you know, the things they did in the battles in the main story mode, or they can speed themselves up, they can do a lot of cool things. That's basically what it is. Um, nothing too simple. It can be pretty fun. Uh, I didn't really play it much as a kid. And even as a kid, I'm really horrible when it comes to competition. I never like winning is a thing. Because usually, like, the friends I play with are not the most, like, you know, avid gamers. So it's like, it's no contest and I just feel bad. Um, so I had to show off all this stuff. Sorry about the dogs. It has been forever and going back to just dogs is just the worst thing, isn't it? The so boss attack is pretty self-explanatory. You fight a series of bosses. You can either fight all the bosses in hero mode, all the bosses in dark mode, or just all the bosses in general. I don't want to show that because that takes forever. And, you know, the fight with Tails or just Eggman for the second time is kind of bull. Kart racing, I already showed that when I finished Dark Story. But now stage select. Um, all the enemies have, uh... All of the... What am I trying to say here? <laughs> all of the... The... I'm drawing a blank. Every single stage, besides the besides the driving stages, actually have a, um, a whatchamacallit, yes, one of those. They have a, a, a power-up, yes, that's the word. Jeez, I can't even think today. Mostly because I haven't recorded in forever. Man, I'm sorry about that, really. It's like the most random parts to drop, too, just like, I'm pretty sure the last video I had up was like part two of Persona 2. That's like the most random space place to leave off with, whatever. Um, either way. Every single stage besides the driving stage has a power-up to get. And some of them you can get without other power-ups, like the first one in City Escape. So, um, I'm actually gonna go be getting in, in City Escape. Getting all the powers, rather. Just like, you know, because you want pimped out characters, don't you? Um, normally, I, I'll probably end up cutting this, but you know. Again, with the bounce bracelet and stuff, you can just be a BA above things. It's much easier to get A ranks when you have all your power-ups, too. So, you know what, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna cut to where, um where I get the power for this, for this level, that's what it's called. Okay, so we're down here, once you, like, you know, do this whole cinematic jumping off the, what the hell? I don't think gravity, what the hell? Why am I going down? I don't think gravity is supposed to work that way. Um, once you get here, you want to go up here, you need the bounce bracelet and the flame ring to break these metal boxes, and that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, so over here we have the magic gloves. This is a totally useless, just for fun power up. Um, you can actually scroll with what you want to do with the, um, with the, with the Y button, which I never knew, so like, if you ever want to use sunglasses or something like as useless as magic hands, you have to scroll through the Y button, because, you know, the game's gonna, you know, t like, default to the more useful options, like a homing attacker, you know, or <laughs> a punch. So that's what the magic hands is. It's, it's okay. So, moving on. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all the, um, that's all the items to get for Sonic, because all the other levels, I'm pretty sure. Ancient Light, Speed Dash, Bounce Bracelet, um, the uh, Mystic Melody, and yeah, we've gotten all the things for Sonic. Now for Tails, Route 101, that's a driving level. This one, Boosters, I should really be cutting this. I don't think we got anything on Prison Lane, though, because if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure these dogs are barking because of my voice, which is bullshit. <laughs> Dog kind of barks. Calm the hell. Calm down. Um, is it really at the beginning of the level? Or is it somewhere else? It might be somewhere else. I feel like it is. Or is it here? I'm so confused. Oh no, there's the Chow box. Oh, okay. Which Chows? We do have to show off Chows, now, don't we? Is it here? No, it's not. It's probably at the freaking end of the level. I'll just see when I get there. So just my luck, I'm pretty sure it is at the end of the level. So basically, when you get here, you want to kill the secret enemy just lurking in the corner. And you need the box breaking ability. And um, with it you can get the laser blaster. Basically, when your lock on, your lock on has this... I can't really show it off. But your lock on system has now has um. It now has a blast radius, I think. 
right? That's what happens. So that that way, when you actually lock onto enemies, um, it has a blast radius, and that just creates so much destruction. I'll show it off in one of these unsuspecting citizens. This also changes color. It's more shiny and bright and destructive, so, you know, that's that's nice. But as you can see, yeah, it you didn't really see it there, now did you? <laughs> what gives? But it, it's a different color, so obviously it must be slightly better, right? Yeah, it creates something. No, I'm, I'm confused. So maybe I don't know what it does. But anywho, moving on, I'll just cut to where you can get uh, hidden bases. Power up. So I'm pretty sure I am right about that whole blast radius thing, because I just killed a bunch of stuff and, you know, the explosion is just phenomenal. So anyways, you want to get past here again, more box breaking ability that you need, and with it you can get Tails' Mystic Melody, and of course, Mystic Melody does the same thing for every character. Again, you need them to get the Chow missions, which I'll be showing off later this part. Opens doors, does various stuff, you know, varies from shrine to shrine. Is that all the stuff with Tails? Um, what was it? That was the box breaking ability. So I guess it was. Knuckles! Okay, so, let's see what's up with Knuckles. Aquatic Mine, we got that. Digging, we got that. A lot of things are necessary to get, but usually stuff like the Mystic Melody is just BS like that. Luckily, all the things that I pretty much, I'm pretty sure that I had the ability to get in the actual playthrough, I did get. Okay, so this, this confuses me from time to time. Because there's a lot of, like, you need the Digging Claws to get this one. And I really don't know which one I have to do to get the Mystic Melody. Because there's one... There's this one, like, mysterious digging spot that you have to dig into to do the Chow mission. And then there's... Okay, never mind. Forget I said anything. So here's Knuckles' Mystic Melody. So, yeah. Hooray. Again, does the same thing for most characters. Like teleportation. So let's skedaddle. Um, what else do I have to get with Knuckles? I feel like that's everything. Knuckles doesn't have very many levels. Death Chamber, you got the punching material, specs, magical specs, of course. Alright, so now Eggman's levels, why not? Um, Iron Gate, right? I'm pretty sure he got stuff in Iron Gate. We did not get stuff in Iron Gate. So I'm pretty sure we're just hunting for his laser blaster. Freaking dogs. Um, so I'll just meet you at where it is. I'm pretty sure it's not at the end of the level, unlike Tails' is freaking level, so I'll see you there. Okay, so after the this, this checkpoint, after you go down the elevator, um, yeah, metal boxes that you have to break, and you can get Eggman's laser blaster, so, lovely. It's even called the same thing, it even does the same thing. Might as well show it off, because it's a fun little shade of green, at least, like, you know, that's nifty. Yeah, look at that. These dogs won't shut up. <laughs> I swear, it's annoying. Um, but anyways, enough of that, enough about that. So, what's, what else is there? More for, we got, I'm pretty sure that's where Eggman got the hover. Sand Ocean, we need his Mystic Melody. I'll be honest with you, I don't know where this one is. I always, I remember always getting lost here because I don't know where it is. So I'll just cut to where I find it. Okay, um, surprise fact, it's actually a lot sooner in the level than I thought it was. Lovely. No wonder I was missing it all the time, I didn't even think about this one. So basically you need the hover to get it, and it's right in plain sight, so how about that? So, just get Mystic Melody with him. I don't even want to show off what this does, because you all know by this point in time. And then we can move on. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all the Eggman stuff, right? We got the weapons booster, the hover, and the box break. Yeah, okay. Now I was worried. I got my levels mixed up, though. So now we can move on to Rouge. Routes didn't really do anything. No, you can just listen to me. <laughs> all you're pretty much doing in this part, in this part, is just listen to listening to myself think. Never mind. <laughs> so let's go get the Mystic Melody, which is in this level, I think. It's usually always in the first level. I mean, no, not really. What I meant to say is usually there's always something you can get that you can't get at the first level because sense makes sense makes. Um, I'm not sure what this one yet is. I'm not sure what this one is either. Um, it, it obviously, it's either in the same place it was for Knuckles's or I'm heading to the Chow. Either way, I'm wasting time now. And I'll just cut to where I find it. Okay, is it in here? I mean, I couldn't even see this because of my freaking dark TV. But, sure enough it is. Okay, so, wow. You could get that in the first few seconds. Maybe I should know that next time. Again, his, her Mystic Melody. And with her Mystic Melody, we can actually go back, go get the power I wanted to get at first, which is at Security Hall. Which, again, you need the Mystic Melody to get. So lovely. I haven't really been... This is all informative now, isn't it? Except it's kind of self-explanatory. You can just watch what I'm doing. Doesn't really require much thought. 
But anywho, you want to go up. That's a high bouncing thing. Anywho, you want to go over here. Somewhere over here at least. I'm pretty sure it's more down. And actually use the Mystic Melody and activate a bunch of pillars. Right. And with it, you can use the footing to actually break down these boxes or fall. Either one. Whatever works for you. Um, you can actually use it to fall and get the security glasses. Right? Is that what they're called? Treasure scope. No, that's not at all what they're called. Which is just like Knuckles' is, um, pimped out shades. Work the same way. You needed to do some hard mode missions. But anyways, is that all the stuff for Rouge? Again, she only has a few levels too. Um, I feel like it is. Yeah, we got the picks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, now for... For Shadow. I'm pretty sure we got all the stuff in Shadow's levels. Shadow only has four levels and we got three power-ups. So now I have to get the one in Radical Highway. Which I'm pretty sure is near the level. You know what I should have been? I should have been... I, I, will, I was planning on doing this, but I just... I guess I decided not to midway through. I was planning on simultaneously showing, like, how the, um... How the other missions work, but I guess I screwed up on that. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter. I'll be showing everything off anyways. By showing everything off, I mean slightly. Not really at all. I should have cut this, because I don't even know how long this part is going to be. It says 18 minutes of recording, but I know I'm going to be cutting out all the levels. So again, you need the light speed dash to get this one. And we can get the flame ring, so he can break boxes. This was not even necessary to get in Shadow's story. So I guess, you know, he doesn't even need to break boxes. But I'm pretty sure that's all the powers to get, right? Right? Right. Um... Yeah, I guess so. So, now we can move on to actually showing off more stuff, like extras. Sound test. You can show off music. Um... Emblems results, tutorial. Emblems results teaches you how to get all the emblems. Again, there's 180 emblems to get. You need all of them if you want to get... If you want to complete this game, I guess. You can change this to Nihongo, I suppose. Stereo to mono. Rumble. I want to change file, actually. We're going to be changing to my completed file. Because that just changes in time. You can also change who, um... Who actually, like, you know, does everything. Like, yeah. So, you know, you can have Shadow tell you everything you want to do. Or you can have Eggman tell you everything you want to do. And Eggman and Rouge get pissed when you switch characters. It's kind of funny. So what more? Um... Mm, that's not what I wanted to show. Um, so yes, the other missions. Basically, this is, to put it short and simply, mission one, I mean mission two. Um, collect 100 rings. That's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to collect 100 rings as fast as possible. Getting an A rank is determined on how fast you collect those 100 rings. Mission three, for every single level, there's actually a little hidden chow that you have to get. And it's in every level, it's a lost chow. Um, you, it usually requires the use of power-ups that you have to have, so make sure you have all the power-ups before you start doing these. Um, what I actually like about these, what I actually like about levels like these, is that, like, usually to get one of these chows, you have to do, like, a part of the level, and sometimes the part of the level gets, like, so expansive that, like, there's, like, a huge part of the level that you would never even see unless you're going for, like, unless you're trying to get all the chows. Which, like, is kind of impressive, like, like, especially if some of the Knuckles in the levels, or really any of the levels, like, you'll enter, again, I'm reiterating because I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, you'll go into some of the levels that, like, you'll never, like, they get huge, and, like, you'll never even play them unless you're trying to get all the Chows. Like this part, not really as big as the other part. Um, your rank, your rank for the Chow missions is determined of, about how fast you get the Chows. So, not score. It's just the faster you get the chalice, the better rank you get. Mission 4 is typically reach the goal within a set amount of time. You have a timer. If, you, if the timer reaches zero, you die. And you have to do the entire level again. Um, something about these levels is not only is there a timer, but I don't think there are any checkpoints. You have to do this in one run. Because I'm pretty sure, like, it, I guess it botched the timer system if there were checkpoints. So, there aren't any checkpoints. On another thing, the score is, the score is determined by points, just like, the, just like the normal levels, but typically, the points, it's a, it's a bit more lenient, like, maybe if one level takes 30,000 points, then the timed level would take only, like, 28,000 points, so it's, it gives you somewhat of a break. Just make sure you don't die. And, um, hard mode is the fifth mission, clear hard mode. It's pretty self-explanatory, too. It's just like the normal mission, but a lot harder. 
like, a lot harder. Typically the enemies are much more vicious, the level placement is a bit more dick, um, as you can see things are already changing. Um, this isn't really the best example because I'm skateboarding and not much can change with skateboarding, but I'll cut to where you can actually see some radical stuff. So yes, there's much more enemies, as you can see, they're all there, they all try to shoot you all the time. Um, what else? Again, some of the platforming is harder. And um, typically, typically I'm pretty sure the scores, I mean, getting an A rank is based on score, but um, typically it's actually really easy to get an A rank in hard mode, as long as you don't die, keyword, as long as you don't die, um, you pretty much get the A ranks, because usually all the enemies, there are tougher enemies which give you more, more points. And then also, um, there's more enemies to give you more points, so you get more points. So, you know, it's pretty easy like that. Another thing, um, I'm not gonna really show it because I'm lazy, but in the, um, in the treasure hunting levels, instead of what the hard mode is, besides, you know, harder enemies and stuff, is that the, em the emeralds are placed in harder locations. Um, you know what, I'll actually show that off. Because it's actually pretty interesting. Basically what this means, let's go to Wild Canyon because I actually know what that is. Basically what it means is it's harder to get all the emeralds. But actually, the thing about this, it, it becomes easier to get an A rank. Because, um, the thing about hard mode is, there's always going to be, they're always in the same three spots. You see there's an emerald right there. There's always going to be an emerald right there. Um, the reason is because it's, it's hard to get, you're supposed to use your specs to actually get this one. Right? It's, one of, it's on one of these. I don't know exactly where, because I'm kind of incompetent if you haven't realized yet. I mean, not uploading in forever kind of has that effect. Here we go. So, you can use this to get an emerald. Hooray. So they're always in the same spot, so if you actually know where to get the emeralds, you can get really easy perfects, which, you know, makes things really simple. There's one down here. I'm not sure where the last one is, but the, I've kind of made my point. So, you know, hard mode. Easier to get A ranks as long as you don't suck. And I must admit, especially freaking Eternal Engine, I'm not gonna do Eternal Engine, I don't know why, but Eternal Engine's hard mode, I just remember that's the one thing I remember specifically, was a bitch to do because it was actually really, really hard with artificial chaos and whatnot. And I'm gonna assume Cannon's core was pretty hard too, but that's, you get the point. So, if you actually get all, all the emblems and all the A ranks, well, if you get all A ranks for one character, you actually unlock alternate costumes to get for, um, to have for, um, to have, what am I trying to say here? You can get ultimate alternate costumes that you can have for two-player mode, so that's lovely. But also, you actually, getting all the A ranks for one character actually gives you an emblem. So if you want all the emblems, you actually have to get all A ranks, so that can be a tough thing to do, but, you know, you gotta do it. So that's why I was stressing about A ranks.